If you like bribery, lies, and madness, and who doesn't, it's time to check out the off-Broadway hit The Government Inspector, starring an A-team of comedic actors led by Michael Urie. We chatted with the stars just as they were transferring the satisfying satire of small-town corruption from the Duke Theater to a much larger space at New World Stages, where they began performances on July 6th. Well, The Government Inspector is a riotous comedy that uh, was written in the 1830s originally, and Jeffrey Hatcher has adapted it. It's about small politics in Russia. It's about corrupt, kind of really dim, dumb people who think that a government inspector is coming to their town. They're all despicable, and it's kind of the worst of humanity. But there's something so joyously funny in that, too. It's a farce, so the canvas is wide. Um, and big, you know, we can we can get away with a lot of stuff here, and uh, it, we pretty much push the limits at times in the comedy, and it's it's actually worked out very very well. And the people that are playing it, of course, are are studs, so it's uh, it's really easy. The studs in this cast include a Tony winner, a two-time Tony nominee, and a Drama Desk winner, among other accolades. It's truly an unparalleled group of actors. It's a fantastic group of people, and I mean, everybody is at the top of their game, which is wonderful. You always want to play tennis with the best people you can play with. You know Michael Yuri, you know Michael McGraw, you know Mary Testa, they're very funny people. You don't know me, but... I have a beard. I grew a beard for this. What I keep hearing from people who've seen it already is it feels so good to laugh for such a long time. I mean, it's like basically two hours of unadulterated silliness that we take very seriously. It's a beach read of off-Broadway theater. The air conditioning here is fantastic. So for that reason alone, it's like for barely more than the price of a movie, you're gonna sit for two hours, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna have a good time, and you're gonna be cool in the summer heat of New York City.